Do you want to clean your Toyota Igo IAT map sensor? The Toyota 1KR engine is used in several small cars. So this is exactly the same for the Citroen C1 IAT map and the same engine in the Peugeot 107 and the Toyota Yaris. There's actually no need to remove the air box to do this operation. I suggest that you clean your IAT map sensor whenever you change the air filter for which you need to remove the air box lid anyway because it does make access a lot easier. It's important to keep the IAT map sensor clean on these engines because these engines do not have a MAF sensor. They use the pressure reading and temperature reading from the IAT map along with readings from the exhaust O2 sensors to calculate the airflow. The map sensor on these Toyota 1KR engines is on the inlet manifold behind the throttle body as we're looking at it here. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket on a ratchet. I suggest if you've got a quarter inch ratchet, use that. You can probably get away with a 3 8 inch. So remove these two screws that you see here in this view. I'm finding that it's an awful lot easier with a deep socket than it is with a uh, standard socket. Also good idea idea to have a magnetic pickup handy so if you drop either the tool or the screws down the back of the engine and they land on the floor you can just go underneath and pick them up saves a lot of stretching and reaching also be sure you're undoing the correct screws it's very easy to undo this screw that holds the uh, vacuum pipe in place by mistake and once the screws are undone just give the sensor a waggle and pull straight up. And once you've lifted the sensor out of the inlet manifold, press on that tag there and pull to separate it from its electrical connector. You might find it easier to get in there with a pair of fine nose pliers to uh, press that tag far enough. If you've been keeping your PCV valve clean, like I've previously showed you, link in description, and changing your oil twice a year, then hopefully your IAT map sensor will look fairly clean like this one of ours. If you've not been keeping your PCV valve clean, and if these do get dirty as a result of uh, fumes passing through the inlet manifold, then they can start to give false readings of both pressure and temperature to the ECU, and that can cause all sorts of rough running problems. So that's why it's important to keep these clean. To clean the sensor, you'll need some carburetor cleaner or mass airflow sensor cleaner. At a pinch, you could even use a little bit of brake cleaner. Spray some inside and all around this red part, which is the temperature sensor. Make sure to shake it out thoroughly and then sit it down in the sun or a warm place for 10 minutes and allow it to dry. And it's a simple matter now of just putting it back in exactly the opposite way to the way you got it out. And keeping it clean will help your engine to run at its smoothest and keep your economy at its very best. And when you have put it back into place, don't forget, very, very important, make sure to plug the electrical connector back in. Believe me, been there, done that. Just before you do push it back into the manifold though, pull your dipstick out and with the little bit of oil that's on the end of the dipstick, just put a little bit on the O-ring of the sensor, wipe it around with your finger, just so that you're not putting the O-ring back in dry. And of course, don't forget to return your dipstick.